Get out of here. Get out of here. Look, don't want to be on the video. Go on. Go, Scout. Get out. Old Gage, man, I'm telling you, he is shyer than anyone here at the lodge about the camera. I'm telling you, every single time, he's like, I get ready to fire up the camera. He's like, well, I gotta go. Yo, what's up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Uh, we got two things today. Uh, number one, an awesome field mallard hunt. That's coming. Uh, but number two, actually, we got three things. Number two, uh, I got the cinnamon teal uh, all done. Kurt dog, old Kurt daddy, Kurt killer. Uh, my taxidermist, you've met him, a, you, you all have met him a thousand times. He hooked it up. And um, my teal mount, my new teal mount is unbelievable. Fake water, the whole nine yards. I'm going to show you it after the hunt. But before we get going on the hunt today, guys, I got something very, 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 very near and dear to my heart, very important, uh, something that we do every single year. It is time yet again uh, for the annual Reno County Cancer Council. Reno County, my county that I live in, and I want to help support it as much as possible every single year. And one way by doing that, uh, cancer, um, unfortunately, is very near and dear to my heart, as well as uh, a lot of us here at Sand Hill Flyway and um, giving back to my community um, through the help of, of cancer, you know, so giving some support is one of the main things that I know that I can do and that I know really actually does make a difference. So what we got going on every single year, we donate a hunt. Last year, we ended up donating two hunts, um, which results in an online auction. Uh, these hunts that I donate, um, whoever wins them on the online virtual auction, which you can, it, it doesn't matter where you are in the U.S., you, anybody can bid on these hunts. Uh, whoever wins it gets first pick of whatever date you want uh, for next season before we book anyone. So every single date's open and you get first dibs on anything. That's kind of one of the bonus, uh, bonuses of doing this whole Cancer Council deal. It's, uh, it's an awesome deal. So if you guys want to get in on that, this year's, uh, we had two guys, two different guys come, and one was a married couple from Colorado, and the other one uh, was a married, or not married couple, two brothers from Texas, and they were a hoot, an absolute hoot. So thank you to them for purchasing those. If you guys are interested in the auction uh, on these hunts, uh, the easiest, the best way to do Easiest way to do it is go to uh, Sand Hill on Instagram. Go follow us. All the information is there. I will try to remember to link some of the information at the top of the description below. At least the link. The auction is Jan or the auction is February fifth, the evening of the fifth. So put it on your calendars. Let's get into the video. Um, did you bring any snacks? What do you got? Beef turkey. Beef turkey. Beef turkey? I'll try one. Ooh. You're supposed to bring cheese balls. Huh? I told him to bring cheese balls. Cheese balls? Yeah, he went to Peaks. Oh, that'd been good. Oh, I didn't see that. Sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's cold. It's uh, when we got to the field, afternoon hunt, when we got to the field, you're sitting at like 33. And the clouds rolled in. And it's the, dropping some quick. Cloud, yeah, cloud layer rolled in. And it's really dropping quick. It is sitting now like 4.15 or something. Um, we have to quit shooting at basically 5.38. Ooh, get it. Diving in. Look at Archer. He's going down. A little piece for him. Archer. <laughs> uh, I hope it recorded the first clip. I'm sure it did. But here we are. Uh, lots of mallards here. Lots of lessers here. Old P did, found it yesterday, got permission on it. Mm -hmm. Well, I found it my whole life, driven past it a gajillion times. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, and yeah, every, finally uh, every year harassed the farmer enough to get permission. <laughs> <laughs> harassed him enough? Went, but, no, well, he, good work. Good yeah, work. I know, it was, he's a nice guy. He cuts hay for us and um, runs cattle on us, or used to, so oh. my dad knew him and it worked out good. Well, that helps knowing somebody that knows somebody. Oh, you called it 4.30. On the money. Oh, 420, it's a early. 4.26. Yep. First birds are headed towards us. We couldn't be more excited. We've been waiting on them. So. Figured they were going to 
honestly fly a little earlier today uh, with these clouds and stuff but here we go hopefully we get some luck going on <clears throat> I want some more beef jerky but I better not because I'm about to blow my call there's a lot of pepper that got stuck in my teeth that mm -hmm. wouldn't be good <laughs> I'm still trying to yeah. dig it out <laughs> Shoot them, guys. Good shooting. <laughs> Back. Uh, two, another one's going down. Three. Three, yeah. That'd be four. four. Nice. Good job, guys. How long have you wanted to hunt this field? A long time. I've never really tried until, you know, this year. But it's a busy field. You've been talking about it. First time I've ever seen it. It's the only one in like four months. Oh, wow. It's the only feed in four Other months? Other than the one we hunted yesterday. It's like... That's wow. when the other fields start. Here we go. Well, we got some ducks hitting the field, baby. That's what we're after, really. We're all about them ducks. Which keeps coming behind us. Yeah, there is. was insane. Whoa! Reload! <laughs> out front, guys, out front. Get ready, get ready. Shoot him, guys! Back. Heck yeah. Another one set far, far guy. Oof. Well, there we go. That was nice. One, two, three for Shirley. <laughs> See that one over the top? I got that one right there. Boo! Look at him right there. Yeah, I smoked him bad. It was awesome. Woo! That was sweet. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Y'all been missing me shooting, especially them ducks. Smash thumbs up. This is the biggest feed I've ever seen. Look behind us. Just lines after lines. Oh, good. Up top. Lots of ducks. Cow. Shoot them, guys! I did not see them get in there. I wasn't ready at all. <laughs> Woo! We're killing the ducks today. Look at that wad of geese. This we is are smoking them. Blowing my mind. Here! Come here! We're gonna have a lot of singles and pairs decoy. Right? Look at this. Look at these two. Look at that pintail. Oh, I see the pintail. Look at this. Oh, look at that pintail. Look at the sprig on the geese. go shoot him guys oh, I, oh man that was hard to shoot the bird there wow you see his butt 
Oh boys, what a duck shoot this is. Woohoo! <laughs> you feeling it? Dude. Oh my goodness, we've been waiting. We knew we were only gonna have an hour to shoot and here we are. Just smashing. Oh man. Are they just coming to the decoy? Shoot them guys. Oh. Out front. Shoot them guys. Oh man, that was a hard shot. Well, as you can see, that's all she wrote. That's shooting light. Here's the spread. Got out about 15, 20 dozen uh, full body ducks, just like the last duck hunt that y'all seen. Six spinners scattered over the mass of it. Uh, mostly mallard decoys. We do have some full body pintail decoys. Look at that bad boy. Uh huh. Shout out to Drew for letting us use them. Uh, and then we just sprinkled some geese out here a little farther and it's a small spread it really is uh not more than probably i would say no more than really 25 dozen decoys that's probably way too much to be honest probably 20 dozen at most worked great we only got about an hour of shooting and we did work that was awesome 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 the only thing i wish i could have done there's a stud pintail right over the mojo and we had to wait uh, because a mob of ducks was coming behind them. So, have not got my sprig pintail, stud pintail yet this year, but I will. I want to mount a nice one this year. I'm bound and determined to. Uh, never mounted a pintail, so I want a nice one. Well, what's uh, your two cents on uh, the old field duck hunt we did? Uh, well, I loved it. It was fun to be able to hunt that field finally. Yeah, you. Yeah, give your little spill on that field. Um, seen it my entire life. Anybody who's ever driven on that highway has seen it. <laughs> like, you almost said the highway. Yeah, anybody who's ever driven on that highway has seen it. They're in it every year, and the only guy that could hunt it was the landowner's son forever. But my dad did some business with him, and he kind of owed us a favor and let us hunt it that's so awesome. it worked out good we still paid to hunt it yeah oh yeah you know so yeah. it was all fair oh yeah 100 percent. just wanted to let you guys know that we still paid to hunt it wasn't like we're cheapskates out here and bribe the man but uh uh on top of that before we get going on the new mount uh big thank you to kurt for doing all of our mounts here in the lodge all of mine all the p diddy's Garrels, drew's aaron's all of ours he does them and uh, even some of our clients, he does them too. And just want to say thank you, Kurt. You do an amazing job. Uh, number two, we're hunting the river a bunch. I think we're hunting the river tomorrow too. And uh, ducks on the river is uh, my absolute favorite. I know, don't you get excited? Is my absolute favorite hunt, way to hunt, thing to hunt, style to hunt uh, in the world. I've had a lot of, a lot of people ask Bob, what is your go-to most favorite thing to do in waterfowl? That is to hunt the river for ducks here, right at home. We came up, we, we found something out and that's going to be on the next video. Just stay tuned for it. But here is the mount. Check it out. One of you guys sent me this mount, uh, this, this bird, not this mount, but sent me this bird. And then I had Kurt mount it and he did one heck of a job. Uh, this is going to be, it's uh, halfway done pretty much, uh, it's going to be the trifecta, the teal trifecta. So what we have here, y'all, we have a green wing, and then here is the cinnamon that y'all sent me. Uh-huh, you donated it to the cause. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, Kurt took it, put an awesome idea together. He left a spot right here for a really good blue wing. So I didn't get a really good blue wing this year. All the blue wings that we got was during teal season, which was too early and they had way too many pin feathers. But what he did here, I, I 
think this is acrylic or epoxy of some sort, but he makes fake water, fake duckweed all the way through it. Even has the ripples in it. Check it out. How awesome is it? I mean, he absolutely killed it on this mount. One of the neatest mounts that I own. And it has the perfect spot right underneath the light in between the TV. Boom, boom, boom. Uh huh. Perfect spot. It was absolutely meant to be. Hope you guys like that. Drop a comment down below. Tell old Kurt, because he reads the comments. So I guarantee you, old Kurt Daddy, he will read the comments on this one because he's proud of that one. Check this out. So on top of the water, under the water, his legs are dangling and they're swimming. Isn't that cool? Did you notice that? His little yeah. feet hanging down? Isn't that neat? Kurt's got an imagination. He really does an awesome job. But we're really filling up with, with mounts here. They're, we're going to get to a point where we're literally going to have everything full, every wall full. We still have a lot to put up here and a lot to hang from the ceiling all up there. But again, guys, if you are interested in getting in on the live auction, uh, I will put some of the information down below. The auction is February 5th, and the proceeds, every single dollar, goes to an awesome cause. It goes to um, anything. It, it, the money helps anything that the cancer department basically needs here in Reno County to help those patients, to make them more comfortable, to uh, pay uh, the help better or more or hire more help. Uh, medicines and, and product, anything you need, supplies, you know what I'm saying? So um, if you guys are interested in it, I will put the information down below. Uh, one of the easiest ways, like I said, go follow us at Sandhill Flyways on Instagram. All the information is already on there. We just posted about it. Uh, it'll always be there. So you can go see the last post that we did. <sighs> Other than that, my safety tip for the end of this one Again, I, I always got to say, we preach gun safety a lot. Uh, be, care, be careful if you go out by yourself. Um, if you go on a solo hunt, especially water, I preach water situations. Be careful. It's icy. I know this is the last week of ducks. Just don't risk your life for them ducks. I know we want to get after them. I do. I understand uh, you want to get after them uh, before the season's over. Just don't risk your life for a bird. Thank you all for being here, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Until next time.